Alright, so hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to quickly film this um, haul, which is quite long overdue. Um, and basically this is my fashion haul from Bandung. I did a lot of like retail damage. Um, if you've probably seen the makeup and beauty haul from Bandung, then if that was bad, then my love for clothes is even worse. <laughs> um, but I would have to say I have no regrets. Um, because I would not be able to afford any of these items here in Singapore at its full price or even at its like discounted price during like when it's a sale period I would generally not buy like high street or high end or as we call it here like branded like items so I really really like allowed myself to splurge but I'm always like that when I'm when I'm overseas and I'm traveling that's when I really like splurge um, and then I don't look back and then I'm happy with whatever I bring back here to Singapore so um, one of the first places that like you have to go when you're in Bandung is this place called um, I'm going to show you that Ruma Mode and, and this is the spelling Ruma Mode and um, because they have like they, it's a really really nice place to shop if you're into like buying branded like high-end brands like Armani Exchange, Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, any brand that you can think of, um, that would be your best bet to go because the selection is there, the sizes are there, the ambiance is there and it's just, everything is just there and uh, I really spent like a lot there. So um, I'm just gonna like pick up stuff and then like most of these things are not even like I have even started wearing them for a lot because I really wanted to fill this haul. So one of the first things that I got was this um, t-shirt. It's a guest t-shirt. Um, and this was like, the t-shirts usually go for like 109,000 rupiah. If not, it will be like 99,000 rupiah. And then, yeah, so so that's about it. 100,000 rupiah is about $13. So you can just like more or less count from there. Um, then I got this Forever 21 top. I really like this piece because I'm not like such a, I'm not a leopard print kind of person but I do like um, stripes like tiger stripes, zebra stripes or giraffe prints. Those are the kind of prints, animal prints that appeal to me more than like the cheetah or like the leopard print. I think because it's like so mess, like yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just that. So I really like this piece and like because I'm born in the year of the tiger according to the Chinese zodiac So I really really like the fact that this is you know, it's just me Um Yeah, and I've never seen this in Forever 21 so I really really like it And this was 89,900 rupiah Um yeah, I, I, I think I, I shouldn't like talk about the prices, I'll just like quickly go through them, all the clothes because I really have a lot. Um, and then I picked out this piece, this guest piece. I got a few guest t-shirts, um, I really like it. I, I'm, I'm into like this baggy like t-shirt, I don't know. Um, it's just the way it falls on my body that I realise that I kind of like it. The fact that like, it ha you know, I have a lot, a lot more room. And I also feel that I can wear it for like dance now that I'm back to doing like hip hop and stuff. So yeah. And then I got this Calvin Klein t-shirt. This one my father picked. For some reason he was drawn to this and he was like really wanting me to get this. So I was like okay, why not. So I really like it. It's like a basic t-shirt. And I love collecting um, branded t-shirts where it has the brand on it. So it's like the first thing that I would get from a brand and then I would get like all the other designs according to whether I like the designs or not. Then I got this one which is also a guest t-shirt which is really really nice. Tag is really nice. Yeah. Really really nice piece. Um, I like the bling on it. And I also like the 
logo on it. You can see. I don't know. I I tend to keep these things as bookmarks. Um, yeah. And then this Armani Exchange T-shirt. And then this is one of my favorite ones. Um, this oh the Armani one was also chosen by my father. It's <laughs> so cute. Um, this is a Gap T-shirt. I really really like this, and I think this is so perfect for like the holiday season. And yeah, and it has like a little pocket here. And this pocket it goes all the way down. Like you can see how far my hand is going down this pocket. So that is how deep the pocket is. It's really really unique. I don't know, just cute. Um. And then I got something that I've never seen in Singapore at all being sold. I don't know where you can buy this in Singapore. But Toki Doki. This is the iconic, like one of the iconic ones from Toki Doki. And I'm so happy like I have a Toki Doki t-shirt. So I've not seen it anywhere at all. And then um, got this other t-shirt, like other blouse. It's like Aztec-ish tribal print-ish <laughs> um, at the front and at the back it has this lace detailing so it is like see-through um, and it's by this brand called Almost Famous yeah Almost Famous so I really like this um, and then I got like a pair of pants this pair of pants if you follow me on my Instagram you would have seen it if you or on Twitter because usually whatever I post on Instagram I usually link it to my Twitter so it is the same um, I Instagram a photo of this of me wearing this pair of pants this is by H&M and like at least I could like safely say I think I'm one of the like only person I hope I'm the only person in Singapore who has this pair of pants because H&M only came in like late last year I think yeah or something Fresh my memory if I'm wrong, but like late last year or like two years already, I can't really remember. But it's definitely before H&M came to Singapore, this pair of pants. So, I really like the colour and I really like the design and yeah, just everything. Um, and then another pair of jeans, another pair of pants bottom that I got was this Rock and Republic bottom. And I love the R and R really love the emblem and it fits so snug and like the jeans feel so good this was 229,000 rupiah so I think it's about like $30 and then I got another pair of jeans um, I don't never buy a Rock and Republic in Singapore it costs like what 300 or something um, and then the other pair of jeans that I got was a Miss 60 jeans and I really like this detailing at the back. Yep. I'm all about like the back part of the jeans, like the details. Even like the button. I love all this kind of detail. And like I've been wearing my Giordano um, grey pair of jeans to death. So I really wanted to get another pair that I could like even out the wear. So that's that. And then um, I got this Desigual tunic. It's a grey tunic. I think it can be worn as a dress or a tunic. Um, very, I don't know, I just, I just like it. Like, and this was 179,900 rupiah. So it's just very basic. I don't know, it's just something. Because I love like Desigual stuff. I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. But I really like Desigual stuff and like I was so afraid that I was never gonna find anything similar to that so I just bought it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then um I got this really really nice like I don't know, I it feels so nice and soft, it's like I'm not too sure if it's chiffon but what is it? It's from Minimal Collection, 174,900 rupiah, so this skirt, I love the colour, I fell in love with the colour, and like the texture is just so nice, 
um, but it's really really long so I'm gonna have to like send it to the tailor to get it shortened because as you all know I am fun sized and then um, I think the last item that I got from there is this pair of like Zara work pants Zara work pants yeah just basic black pants from Zara because I realized I only have like one pair of dress pants and you, know, you can't survive on that and it's 139,900 rupiah so I tried it on I really really liked it and I'm gonna have to send this to the tailor as well um, actually all my jeans and any pants I have to send it into the tailor so that is everything from Ruma Mode and then after that I went to The Secret um, which is this other place The Secret and I love this piece, I really love this piece. I got this jacket look at the detail it is so nice and I think it's like I don't know it's by this brand called Fornia I don't know if anybody knows or heard of it but it's like a silk it feels like silk and I just love the colour and the fact that it's so, I don't know, tribal and just, just something was calling out to me when I saw it and I just, I just had to buy it because I know that like no one else would like have it or at least no one I know would have it and I'm happy with that <laughs> and then um, I, at The Secret as well, I picked up Zara and I saw this pair of pants, like I don't know what season, what collection, or whatever it is, but I really like the print. Like, it was calling out to me. I really, really love the print. And it's so soft. And when I tried it on, it was so comfortable. And, yeah. I really like this piece. Gee, I like, I really like everything that I picked. Um, yeah, basically. And then, um, I got... Another another desigual item. Desigual was really quite like common around Bandung. I don't know. I got this skirt. So I don't know if you guys can see. And I love this detailing. Like that's the thing about desigual. They always have like some like detail that just offsets like anything that looks remotely normal and then just makes it like completely different. And it has brand at the back. So this was, I think, how much was it? It was 150,000 rupiah. I really like it, like this skirt. It's just so nice. And then um, I went to another outlet store, which was called Glow. No, wait, it was called, was it called Glow? Yeah. Yeah, I went to Glow and then I got like, just, you know, a jumper. Um, this was 99,000 it was by Mossimo Supply Co so anyway it's really really nice it's got like gold reflex I don't know if you guys can see but I really like like this jumper ish that and I feel that it's something that people always wear around like Christmas time mm, yeah and then I went to this place called Tokotiga Tokotiga and I got like a few Desigual pieces. Desigual, Desigual, I have no idea, but yeah. I got this long dress. Um, so I'm going to show you. So it's really, really, it's like a maxi dress. The design, like, nice. So that's the front, and the back is just, it has, you know, that is the back. And it, it's, um, weirdly enough, it's a size L, but I just love the way it falls on me, so I was happy to just take the L. Um, even though I think if it was an S, it would have probably come up to three quarters, but the L turned it into a full maxi dress, and I just like the way it falls on me. And then I also got, oh, I got this at Glow as well, Glow Factory Outlet. I'll list all the factory outlets down below. Um, if I do know what's the address, I would like list it in the info box below, but if not, then you can always just Google it. Um, see? It even has this tag on. Like, yeah. And I got this piece, which was really, really nice. 
I love Z Boss pieces because it's so unique, it's so funky and I don't know and like they always have this like this it's all in the details, like God is in the details for them. You know, so I really really like it. And then um okay back to I think Toko Tiga. I also got this dress. Um it's like you know, a dress that was thrown together by different materials and fabrics and design and then they just magically made it all go together somehow. So it's just this dress. This was I think I think the dresses were one hundred and thirty nine thousand nine hundred rupees, so I really Alright, so sorry I got cut off because as always my camera would just die halfway that I'm filming because it overheated. Anyway, so the last item that I got from Tokotiga was this dress, just geometric print dress. Um, it's just like that. I don't know, I like the funky colours and I think something like that has been around for quite a while but as always, I'll get it when I want it and I'll wear it whenever I want it. So, I really like that geometric print. And then, um, bought like a pair of flats from there. It's like the Hugh Hefner kind of like flats and I don't know, I just like, I'm really into suede like material right now, I don't know. Um, if not, I like the patent leather but not too shiny, um, it'll be like that. So I'm really into like suede and patent leather at the moment or like matte leather, I don't know, just those few styles. Um, yeah, so I really like this flats. So I got it. This one I got at Matahari, uh, which is like a departmental, which is like a departmental, which is like a department store in Bandung or in Indonesia actually. So yeah. And then when I went to Takuban, Takuban Prahu, there was this man, they, 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 they'll, they'll, feel, they'll be like a few people like selling, you know, odds and ends and like stuff, like all around. And then, yeah, so I don't know why, but I was really, really attracted to this fur thingamajig. <laughs> this, I think, it's like, it's, it's like a fur shawl. Not really like a fur stole, but it's fake fur, faux fur. Um, so I really like it, and I have this thing for like furs to be in white, and I don't know. I just feel that it makes it look good. It makes me look good, and I feel that way. Um, yeah. So I really like this. Although I'm just considering of getting the one, the black one, um, from H and M. They always have it around this time of the year. So uh, this one was like for 50,000 rupiah, so this one I really like. And then the last item that I got is this piece, um, it's still in the plastic bag, but this one was at Pasabaru. So Pasabaru is like this place where you can get like a bit more traditional stuff, um, you know, yeah like traditional wear. And then you can go to Pasabaru and then like scour that area. So I walked and I passed by and I saw this skirt and I just love the way the colours fall and yeah, got it. And now I can wear it because I have done this video. Um, and then, oh yeah, the, the really really last last thing that I got was a touristy t-shirt. Um, so this one says Bandung, Paris, um, Van Java. Paris Van Java is actually this high-end place, um, where they sell all the, you know, high-end brands. So that is the place to go. It's called Paris Van Java in Bandung. And, well, I'm the kind of person that if I'm going to get like a tourist t-shirt, like a souvenir t-shirt, I would like it to not look like a souvenir t-shirt 
um, it would have to be something that I would like I could throw on with like my other pieces and still make it look work like still make it work with like my style wardrobe so that I'm not just buying something for the sake of like collecting it and yeah so I, it would actually be of use at the end of the day so I thought that the design was like quite rockish and I could see myself wearing it with like high-waisted shorts or high-waisted pants and then just tucking it in or tying a knot or something like that you know just to give it like yeah an edge to the t-shirt so that is it for that t-shirt <laughs> Um, yeah, so that is it. That is my Bandung haul uh, for clothes. I really enjoyed shopping there. I would love to go back to Bandung to shop sometime, give it six months, six months or so down the road. Um, and yeah, um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a vlogish kind of video where I talk about what other things what other things I I think are worth seeing and doing in Bandung you know put down your opinion in the comments below um, just let me know what you guys think um, so um, thank you guys for watching my video I hope you guys enjoy my hauls I've gotten a lot of feedback that you guys enjoy my hauls so yeah there'll always be hauls to come because i'm just a shopaholic or i'm trying to cut down but yeah <laughs> okay um so yeah until my next video take care be kind to one another on youtube and if you're not a subscriber do subscribe to my channel um follow me on instagram and twitter um and it's the same as my channel name um and I hope to, you know, talk to you guys and interact with you guys. Um, and yeah, so until my next video, bye!